I'll show you something we've been doing on a tasty menu. If you can tell me what it is, you get a prize. You know what it is? It's called Seltus. It tastes like a, a cross between like asparagus and lettuce, and it tastes nutty too. It's really interesting flavor. And we braise it with like brown butter, and we serve it with hazelnuts and Greek yogurt. I don't even want to show this, you know, like Roberta's is going to jump on this if I show it, you know what I mean? Walker Stern, um, the co-chef, co-owner of Battersby Restaurant in Brooklyn. My name is uh, Joe Grodnick. I'm also the co-chef and co-owner of Battersby in Brooklyn. We met each other in culinary school, and then probably about four or five years later, we reconnected. I think the main thing was that we just didn't really want to be working under people or for owners, and we just were like, you know, we can make this happen. We just had us two and the will to do it and we didn't have money, we didn't have a location, um, but we made it happen. I think kind of on the outside we're a neighborhood restaurant, but when you take another look you can kind of see that there's a little bit more going on. I would prefer to eat at a restaurant like that's you know, a little bit more comfortable environment like this as opposed to you know, a three Michelin star restaurant. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love fine dining, but this is more part of everyday life and this feels more real to us. This dish, probably more than anything on the menu right now, reminds me of like our, our history with it. This is like a very traditional way to serve asparagus and morels cooked with yellow wine. The morels are simmered slowly with this, with this wine. Then I'm going to add um, a little bit of asparagus puree into the mushrooms. I'm going to add a little Parmesan cheese. I'm going to finish the, the morels with a little bit of unsweetened whipped, whipped cream. As the dish comes together, it just has a great combination with the grassiness of the asparagus the um, earthiness of the mushrooms and like that toasty oxidation of the, of, of the wine. We've been doing this uh, piquito crab parfait for a couple days now, and it's just uh, really awesome piquito crab meat from Maine, uh, which has like a really good like sweet flavor to it. Um, and I'm gonna layer it in this glass with crab on the bottom, and then raw cucumber, green apple, celery that's just marinated in a little bit of verju, salt and pepper, olive oil. And then on top of that, I'm gonna do a fresh gelée made with uh, green apple juice and celery juice. And then on that, I have a little mousse that's a light shellfish stock that's acidified with lemon juice. There's a little spice in there. So it's got like a lot of different stuff going on in one thing. Definitely people look at it and they're like, what is this at first? And then they kind of like put their spoon in and they're like, I'm not sure. And then they're like, wow, that's really good. And then they play with it. And then it's gone in like five seconds, so. You know, one of the good things about having an open kitchen is you can really watch the guests consume the food and, you know, can see firsthand if they're enjoying it or what the reaction is. The third man is Michael Soa, basically the other cook here. So he's here all the time like we are. We spend a lot of time together, but we hang out sometimes too. You know, it's different hanging out outside of work and being at work because we take our jobs very seriously. When we have, when we're feeling up to it, we'll, we'll all go out to eat somewhere together. Uh, we're gonna be going to Henry Social. Uh, Henry in Atlantic, please. Henry Public. Henry so Public <laughs> Social. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna go see our buddy Marty who manages Henry Public. They've got a turkey leg sandwich that everybody talks about. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty tasty, but they just, you know, they just kind of have really good solid bar food, oysters, sandwiches, yeah, oysters, bone marrow. burger, and um, I think it's most known for being a, a cocktail. pretty cool cocktail bar. Yeah, it's very cocktail heavy. Marty McLaughlin. He's the, the main guy over there, runs the show. He's a loyal customer of ours too, so he's definitely kind of like in our neighborhood clique. And can I just suggest that we all do a round of Fernet just to get it started? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it sounds good. Oh. Marty, will you join us, please? Yeah. It's very nice to have you join. All right, Marty, thanks for having us. Cheers. 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 Good meal.
Walker and I, one of the main things we have in common is that we're, we're, we're serious cooks. We're, we're willing to sacrifice much more to get an end result than, than I think a lot of people are. We are literally doing everything from start to finish every single day. Like, there's no, there's no prep cook like peeling onions or making the chicken stock. We go to the market, pick up the produce, bring it back, put it away, prepare everything. Like, there's nobody else, it's just us. And it's kind of daunting. It's like a really simple kind of formula. We all arrive in the morning, we run around like crazy, we cook during service, and then the next day we do it again. There's no time for brunch or events or anything like that. See, I don't think we're ever, yeah. we're never gonna do brunch at Batters Gate. It's not. We hate brunch. <laughs> Yeah, the food in Henry Public is really straightforward, kind of comforty style. We started off with the oysters, uh, which actually I, I don't recall the name of them uh, right now. And the oysters, if you're interested, are Plymouth Rock. But they were, they, they were, were very plump. yeah, they were some of the best oysters that I had. This oyster is great because it has like a little handle, you know. Like, have you ever been in a bar where they have like the toilet seat with like the little thing that sticks out, so you don't have to like touch the piss covered toilets? <laughs> Like the same thing. <laughs> we had the grilled ramps with farmer's cheese, which is just really simple, but a great combination. We had the turkey leg sandwich, it's a can't, can't miss. That was, we were definitely all talking about how good that was. So this thing is legit. Turkey leg cooked in milk and black pepper on a gigantic grilled uh, toast there. This turkey leg sandwich is pretty fucking tasty. Yeah, dude, it's so good. It totally tastes like Thanksgiving. They have a nice dessert here. What's the dessert? It's called Werther's, or like little fried donuts with the caramel dipping sauce. The Wilkinsons. Don't forget uh, about the Wilkinsons. <laughs> the Wilkinsons. <laughs> There's a little discrepancy on the name of that one, but we it worked is, it out. It is the Wilkinsons. We're all going to Brooklyn Social. Marty, it's time. Quit fooling around back there. Bye bye. Brooklyn Social, baby. That's it. The first cocktail bar. <laughs> I just left the full restaurant to go drink. <laughs> well, at least it's not being documented. <laughs> it's very common to see like that kind of cocktail centric bar, but like Brooklyn Social was definitely doing it before that was popular. So it's like that, but it's it's not really overbearing. You know, you can get like a nice cocktail there, or you can you know just do beer or whatever. It's a really fun atmosphere. Matt Walker, he, he bartends for us at Battersby as well. He's a he's a great guy. Can you just start us off with a round of car bombs, like four car bombs? Really? And then yeah, sure. We're out of out of Bailey's. <laughs> Probably from too many car bombs there. Do, uh, do uh, just do a little adaptation? Yeah, Something do adaptation. Like there was, um, what, what was the liquor he used instead? I don't know. Jameson with actually no maraschino and an egg white and sugar. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. We normally just do straight car bombs. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers.
making pizza, dude. I brought you a beer. Thank you. It's hot down here. You need to stay hydrated. It's so hot down here. That walking is really cold. Yeah, we're never we never drunk when we're working. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we Mike all, definitely doesn't drink. I think we all take our jobs very seriously, yeah. and and you, you know Mike probably even more so. He started in the in the career a little bit later on, so I don't know if he has a, a feeling to push harder than, than most people, but I definitely see that in him, and um, he does a fantastic job uh, pretty much all the time. Well, Mike made us uh, some some pizzas. Some fresh mozzarella, tomato sauce, pesto, tagiasca olives. Mike, would you like to explain Mike, the pizza flavors? <laughs> Mike, where did you come up with the idea <laughs> for this pizza concept? That's fucking delicious, dude. I don't think you need a, a big budget or a big space to make to make great things. I just think you need passion and the the will to do it and and the love for what you do. This is this is what we wanted. We wanted this for for a long time. You know, this is just like an honest place. We stand behind what we do. I think that we we have a good thing going here, and it's um, it's just going to get better and better. Yeah.